wanted to get on and share some information. So with mortgage financing, people are doing a lot of things these days. They're buying primary homes, they're buying vacation homes, and they're buying investment properties. And I wanted to explain, as far as mortgage lending goes, what the difference is, why it's important, and some other, other things too. So it's really important because occupancy is a risk factor. And occupancy is whether you're going to live in there as your full-time home, whether you're going to own it as a vacation home and use it part of the time. And then the last type of occupancy is a non-owner occupied or investment property. So with these different occupancies come different risks to the lender. From a risk standpoint, um, it is the least amount of risk to give mortgage financing on a primary residence. And the reason for that is because you as a buyer will live there. You'll know what's going on at your property, most likely to take care of that property. If you had three of them, you're most likely to care the most for that one. If you got into any financial distress and you had different types of properties, say that you had a primary residence, a vacation home or two and then several investment properties from a financial standpoint if you come into financial stress you are most likely to take to pay your primary residence first your vacation homes next because you use them and then your investment properties last because of the risk there's a difference in the down payments with the t the three types of occupancy and the interest rates are different so primary residence is always going to get you the possibility of getting the lowest down payment possible combined with the, the best terms on the mortgage with interest rate and things like that. Second home is going to be the next one down. There's a requirement to put a little bit more down on a second home. Knowing that you would only be partially there, that, that makes it a little bit riskier to a lender. So the requirement for down payment is typically 10%. Um, and I'm just kind of talking about conventional financing to keep it simple. And then investment properties, um, from a conventional standpoint, the standard down payment is 25%, so a whole lot more, whole lot more risk on an investment property. And um, the interest rate, again, is gonna be a little higher even than a vacation home. The one thing that gets a little bit gray is what is the difference between a vacation home or a second home and an investment property? It truly is whether you intend to use it for your vacation home use. <laughs> so it makes sense from a lending standpoint to have 50 miles. Like if I, if I live in, let's say I live in Northeast Maryland and I had a property, like the Delaware beaches would be somewhere I might have a vacation home. Uh, possible, I don't think Annapolis, Maryland is, is far enough. I don't think that's 50 miles away, but it, it probably could work because that's a resort area. So it has to make sense to a, an underwriter that it truly makes sense you would go there and spend time at that home as a vacation home financing is very very intricate there's a lot a lot of different we call them guidelines to to navigate in and out through but i'm always here to bounce things off of to discuss what you're trying to do and we can talk about the best way to arrange the financing if you're going to inquire acquire an investment property you can't you can't get by an underwriter if you live in in newark you can't say that you're buying a home in north wilmington as your second home right because it takes you like 25 minutes to get there they would never never believe that's really going to happen i did have a situation last week which was really 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 borderline but this lady was trying to convince me that they would truly be using it as a second home. It was like they lived in Newark, but she wanted to buy a townhome in Elkton. And it's, <laughs> it can be anywhere from 0.1 miles away from each other to maybe five to eight miles away. So that really wasn't going to make much sense from an underwriting standpoint. If sometimes if you have a, a very clear letter of explanation and a motivation for doing something like that, maybe but usually not hopefully this helps if you ever have any questions feel free to reach out to me you could private message me or if uh, my cell phone's listed on all my social media channels uh absolutely love love educating people on how the mortgage the whole mortgage process works and what programs work best and why for each each person's individual situation so i will see you next time and make it a great rest of your day